way. We brought in people from the Yevon and the Youth League. They're all outside on the concert grounds. Yun, now it is all up to you. I hope our audience behaves long enough to listen. One thing worries me. The two groups are already locking horns. With their leaders gone and everything, people are just a little bit edgy. Hmm. I hope it doesn't get violent out there. Hey, uh, the crowd is acting kind of funny. Let me pull the video up. This could get messy. No kidding. The two groups have been bumping heads since they got on the airship. Yeah. Looks like they're itching to start something. I'll pick up the audio. The Yevonites are here too? How am I supposed to enjoy the concert with them stinking up the air? Hey, you youth league dogs will never be worthy of hearing the high summoner sing. If the Praetor were here, he'd never let these maggots walk around spouting their nonsense. What I want to know is, where'd Nuge go? It's his fault that Spear is falling apart! What kind of leader abandons his people when they need him most? Don't they ever stop? Seriously? Well, Yuna? You're the one who wanted to do something. Yeah, but... Right? <laughs> so let's do something. Right! Let's do it! Oh, catastrophic catastrophe! Dear me, dear me! What a whatever should I do? The spectators are making a spectacle! I don't even want to speculate! Please, do something, Yuna! Leave it to us! One thousand years ago, before the time of sin, Spira was torn in two, divided by a terrible war. This was Spira's great mistake. Out of the rift left by this terrible conflict, sin was born. In only two short years, Spira has shaken off its unhappy past. We have moved on. Now, Spira grows brighter with each passing day. That light is our strength. I don't want to see it fade. Do you? There are so many of us, each with different ideas and different beliefs. Of course we sometimes disagree, and arguments will happen. But our hearts can and should always be one. Believe with me. Even if we are torn apart, 
our, our feelings will unite, unite us. That is what, what this song is about. about. You know. I'm all right. I'm fine, really. It's past now. What did Shinra say? Um, he said it might be some kind of uh, interference with the sphere waves. Uni's dress sphere and the sphere screen reacted with each other, and uh, the consciousness burned into the dress sphere was projected onto the screen, <laughs> or something like that. Okay, but that doesn't explain why it happened. When I asked, he said, I'm only a kid. Ugh. It's Len. 
I was singing her feelings. During the song, I could feel them welling up inside until they just burst. So the people we saw were Len and Shuyin? Everyone's waiting. Let's go. was a magnificent melody, Lady Yuna. The onlookers were all quite enchanted. If it brings spirit together, even a little, then I'm glad. Indeed, I believe it shall. As you sang, not a soul could help but realize the folly of their tiresome squabbling. Fists once raised in anger became welcoming hands, offering solace to a tearful neighbor. I must admit that I, too, shed my share of tears the moment Len appeared. You know Len? Of course. Would you like to hear? Yes, tell us. <clears throat> Where to begin? About a thousand years ago, Len was a popular songstress in Zanakant. The talk of the town, you might say. In a more peaceful age, she might have lived out her years as a performer. But the times and her talents did not allow such a thing to be. You see, Len's gift for singing was matched by her genius in the summoner's arts. When the Machina War began, all summoners were sent to the front lines. Zanakand was hopelessly outnumbered. Len knew she would not return home alive. Nonetheless, she was prepared to lay down her life to protect her people. Yet there was one person who refused to let Len die. Yes, he would do anything to save her. He was a young man, Len's lover. Shuyin? I don't know. His name has been lost to history. Whatever his name, the youth endeavored to steal the enemy's machina weapon and save Len. However... <sighs> it didn't go well. The lovers met a truly tragic end. Those images we all witnessed are most certainly a record of their last moments. So Shu Yin was Len's lover. And so that means the weapon that he tried to steal to save her must have been, um... Vegnagun, right? I think I can kind of understand how he felt. Trying so hard to save someone? Two years ago, I was the same. Trying to find some way, some way to save you. That was enough. Knowing that you were on my side, I'll always be grateful to you. Maybe Len felt the same way. The man she loved, he struggled to save her. He fought till his very last breath for her. I think that Len's final words might have been happy ones. I love you. Yes, there is a connection. But wait. Everything is all wrong. He never heard. The one person she wanted to tell, he never heard her words. What do you know? It's LeBlanc's game. They want to see Yuna. I'll have them wait in the engine room.
I've been hunting around since we last met, and I happened to find a rather peculiar sphere. It shows my new ji wuji For some reason, that chump barrel eye is there, too. But it's from some years ago. I'm afraid it's not much help now, loves. How about you? Have you tracked down my Nuji yet? Nuji's on the far plane. I saw him there with Gippo. The far plane? What is he doing in a place like that? I think he's searching for Barilai and Vegnagun. Oh, ho, ho. so Barilai is the one pulling Vegnagun strings. I should have known. No, that's not it. How do I explain? Never mind, I don't have time for this. Boys, we're going to the far plane. <laughs> Anything but that, boss! We're no match for that sort of opponent. Now don't be silly. The power of love conquers all. It's decided. We're going to save Spira. Yes, ma'am. Well then, get this tanker moving. What have we here? Looks like a transmission, but it's pretty weak. What is? Hmm. I'm getting signals from the car sphere we dropped in that hole, but I can't seem to connect. Enough, little boy. Move aside. See? It connected. Inconceivable! Impressive, Machina. An invention like this could change the world. Whoever came up with this is a genius. He's got good taste. <laughs> Guess I'm a genius too for fixing it. Anybody home? Gipple! I don't think he can hear us. No response. Hm. Some genius. New G! If you're done playing, let's go. Chill out. Lost your nerve? Hey, we're talking about Vegnagon. How the heck do you fight that thing? We can't even walk up to it without freaking it out. Or making it mad. But I've got a plan. If it doesn't work, death will be my apology. Whatever, man. When a death seeker dies, that's no apology. What about LeBlanc? Well, she. What? What? But first, I want to try talking to Xu Yin. I have to tell him how Len felt. I'm sure he'll understand. Ow! We can't exactly make an appointment. We'll just have to jump into one of those holes. Together, this time. Roger! 
Call Wings! We move out! Celsius! Full speed ahead!